Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you the skin retouching process. In this process, I'll show you the dodge and burn, smooth skin and color grading. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notification. At first, I'll making copy. You can press Ctrl or Command J or you can drag it and drop in a plus sign. You'll get another layer of this and giving the name main and make another copy by pressing ctrl j and j at first we'll do the smooth skin and then we'll do the dodge and burn process here giving the name blur and here giving the name sharp turning off the sharp at first giving the blur or select the blur options blur layer actually going to the filter and going to the blur options from here the gaussian blur making it little bit blur like a 7.2 or 8 pixel is good for me and hit ok and here the sharp portion going to the like filter going to the other and high pass so high pass value will be little bit 1.8 or 1.5 is good here and hit ok and changing the blending mode into hard light yeah that's fine and here select these two things making it group this controller command G you will get the group like that and giving the name smooth skin okay and mask it out after masking that make it inverse controller command I from the keyboard so here and now going to the brush tool select the first one brush and changing brush settings or size like that and hardness like a 10 pixel that's good and making the flow 70 or 80 that's good and you want if you want to make the size of the brush bigger press the third bracket closing and opening and brush it up like that so when you are brushing you are getting the texture a little bit and you are getting this smooth skin over here so don't brush it too much otherwise it will spoil the sharpness of the face and after one okay now we'll do the dodge and burn process before that select these two things that means two layers making into convert to smart object so after that we'll make copy by pressing ctrl j and j right press and restylize the layer and right press and restylize the layer and these two things first one is like a highlight that's why the h and the second one is shadow for the s or sh that's good turn off the shadow select the highlight color and going to the blending mode into screen right press and blending options from here here is the darker slider do remember that when you are working with the highlight work with the shadow or black here the slider and slide it up find out the highlighted area of the face and press the alter option button you can divide the slider and adjust with the face properly blend it out and hit ok mask it out and after masking that going to the image apply image from here hit the ok button so one is done and now shadow shadow is the opposite of the highlight that's why i'll make it multiply for the blending mode blending options and here we'll work with the highlighted one slider press alter option button divide this one and adjust with the face and hit ok now again mask it out going to the image apply image from here and in this case check the invert option just because of this one is the reverse or the opposite of the highlight that's good select these two layers making this one group giving the name dodge and burn burn okay mask it out and after masking this going to the filter going to the image options going to the apply image in this case uncheck the invert options and hit ok so let's see before and after the highlighted and the shadow area you are getting prominently 
and now smooth skin i'll make copy by pressing ctrl or command j and these two layer i'll make to convert to smart object so dodge and burn and smooth skin we are getting in this panel we'll work with the like color grading options going to the filter and camera filter this one is another plugins for the photoshop and you can do color correction and other stuffs from here i'll make it little bit cool tone like exposure a little bit up contrast little bit up and the shadow little bit up okay that's fine and whites little bit up texture if you want you can give the texture a little bit not too much okay that's good 17 is good for me vibrance or saturation saturation a little bit down that's fine and color face color will be like this yeah that's good and going to the color mixture from here hue saturation luminance hue which color will be saturation the percentage of the color and luminance intensity of the color in a face color you are getting the red little bit i'm intensity making it up the orange little bit up and the yellow little bit up not too much little bit okay that's fine and the saturation of the red i'll increase that's good and now going to the color grading options here is the shadow mid tone and the highlight in the shadow portion i'll add some saturation and pick the color from here so i'll make the color like this yeah that's good that's fine in the mid tone i want to change the mid tone color into a little bit yellowish that's good and the highlight color will be like this not too much okay here is the blending options change the blending option like that now going to the calibration option three primary color red green and blue so red primary color will be like this making the situation like that okay and here the hue of the green primary changing the color like this that's fine the blue primary color if i work with that yes now going to the again color mixture and from here i'll increase the red color for the lips color and the blue for the like eyeballs and calibration portion i'll add some blue a little bit and green a little bit yeah let's see the before one and after one he's change and from the basic portion i'll down the highlight a little bit it will make sense and exposure a little bit up that's good and hit the ok button that's fine before and after now i'll apply another filter from the nick collection filter nick collection color effects pro 4 so this one is another plugins for the adding filter in your photography and i'll provide you the download link in my video description and hit the ok button from here i'm using the cross processing from here and lots of sub method over here you can use lots of color whichever or whatever you want from l 0 is good for me the strength is 33 i'll make this strength 27 or 25 that's good for me and hit ok it will take time to load it up and providing you the final output let's see the before one was like that and after one you are getting the change and beauty retouch like that so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am a signing out stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye, -bye.